Hello good day viewers. This is exactly the system of equations we solved day before yesterday, which is x squared minus y squared equal to 63 and the second one is x plus y equal to 21 and we ended having x equal to 12 and y equal to 9. But someone asks, is it possible to solve the first equation without the second one? Yes, it is possible. Once you take down the second equation, you will be left with a Diophantine equation. And a Diophantine equation is only concerned with integer solutions. So let's do that. Uh, we are going to take down the second equation. All right. So now we have a single Diophantine equation. And to make our work easier, I would like to choose both x and y to be positive numbers. So let me put my condition somewhere. For example, let me see both x and y are greater than zero meaning we choose uh, our values to be positive in the end i will show you why i choose to have positive numbers in order to minimize time all right remember that this is nothing but difference of two squares which can be expressed or factorized as x minus y multiplied by x plus y and this remains 63 so we have this to be this. So can we express 63 as pairs of factors? Yeah, we can do that because I know that um, 63 can be written as 1 multiplied by 63. We have um, 3 multiplied by 21. And finally, we have 7 multiplied by 9. All of this, if you multiply, you have to get 63. Remember, we have other pairs like negative 1, negative 63, negative 3, negative 21, negative 7, negative 9. But I have chosen what? Both x and y to be positive. Otherwise, we have to spend a lot of time here solving this problem. So let's start with the first pair here, where the first factor is 1 and the second one is 63. Why do I choose this one to be our first factor? Because if you observe, since both x and y are positive, this factor will be less than this one. For example, let's assume um, x is 5 and um, uh, y is 3. You see that 5 minus 3 is 2, but 5 plus 3 is 8. Therefore, this is always greater than this. So uh, from the first one, we have um, x minus y equal to 1 and uh, x plus y equals 63. We can add these two equations in order to eliminate y, right? If you do that, you have um, um, 2x. This will be 0. If you add this together, you have what? Uh, 64. And if you divide both sides by 2, you have um, x to be equal to 64 divided by 2, which is uh, 32. So if x is 32, what about the value of y? You can use either this equation or base to substitute the value of x. Or if you like, you can subtract uh, this equation from this one. You can say that x minus x is 0. y minus minus y is 2y. This minus this will give us 62. So you can see that um, 2y will be 62 if you subtract from bottom to the top. And um, y will be what? 31. So you can see we have a first combination. Let me write it here. X comma Y. We have X 32. And we have Y as 31. First pair of solution. But if you like, you can even check it in the main equation to see whether it is true. Uh, we have X squared. That is 32 squared minus Y squared, which is 31 squared, which is also a difference of two squares. You can write it as 32 minus 31 multiplied by 32 plus 31. This minus this is 1. This plus this um, is 63. And this is 63. Can you see that? We have 63. All right. Moving on to the next one. We are going to check this one. We are going to test this one, which is 3 and 21. Let me just continue using this side. All I have to do is to remove 1 and 63 here and replace them with 3 and 21. 3, 21. We are going to add this and this will give us 2x. 
this and this will give us zero this together we have 24 divide both sides by 2 x will be uh, 12 you can subtract this from this again so that we have x minus x is 0 y minus minus y is 2y equals this minus this will give us 18 and um, divide both sides by 2 we have y to be equal to 9 so x is 12 y is 9 x is 12 y is 9 we have another pair of solution which you can also test difference of two squares 12 squared 9 squared that is 12 minus 9 and 12 plus 9 12 minus 9 is 3 this plus this will give us our 21 if you multiply 21 by 3 you have to get 63 check finally we have 7 and 9 we add we have 2x here this is 0 and this will give us 16 divide both sides by 2 x is equal to 8 then you can subtract from bottom to the top this minus this is 0 this minus minus this is 2y this minus this will give us 2 divide both sides by 2 y will be equal to 1 so we have another solution 8 comma 1 let's check whether it will satisfy the original equation or not we have 8 squared minus 1 squared 8 squared is 64 1 squared is 1 64 minus 1 is 63 which is equal to 63 so all of this pair of solutions will satisfy our original equation but let me show you why I say we should choose both x and y to be positive if we assume they can be negative then you see other combinations from here we can have other three combinations because power of 2 will always transform a negative value into a positive value so let me show you what I mean here other solutions that can satisfy this are let me start from the first one if x is negative 32 and y remain positive 31 it will still work because once you square this it becomes positive and if both of them are negative it will still satisfy and if this, the first one remain positive and the second one is negative then you see that out of this we have four solutions one two three four the same thing with this other two so we have four times three which is 12 pair of solutions this is why I choose to have positive values. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.